So, here we have the customer's original electronic power steering unit off a 2012 uh, Vauxhall Insignia, same as uh, Vauxhall Astra and other cars of um, that year. They have an electronic steering rack and you can't put a second hand one straight onto the vehicle because they're programmed to the car. You can fit a new one but that's a lot of money or you can clone a second hand one. Now this is what we're going to do here. We're going to clone um, a second hand power steering rack which the customer has already fitted onto the car and he's found that his power steering doesn't work. So we're going to take the information out of this one and transplant it to the car by OBD. So first we've got to read this one. So uh, we've got the power supply on. We're going to add the power to the unit. And now we're going to see if we can connect with the unit. So um, we're going to see if we connect under the CAN bus. And we are in. So now we're going to read the data. And once we've got the data, which is there, we can see things like the chassis number. We're going to save this data. We're also going to save a copy of the software. And then we're going to write it into the uh, car by OBD. Let's see how we get on. It's a 2012 Vauxhall Insignia. Uh, quite a common problem with these is the electronic power steering packs up. And because I've got the wonderful electronic power steering units, if you buy a second hand one and put it on the car, it doesn't work. So you start the car. The car will start and run. Um, not too sure about these codes on here. Um, we haven't done a full diagnostic of it, but as you can see, no matter how hard I turn the wheel, oh, that power steering is not working. Pretty undrivable. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to hook the laptop up to the OBD socket and we're going to write in the um, original files that we've already taken from the donor unit and then we're going to do a diagnostic and we're going to see if we can uh, get rid of some of these codes and see what we're left with. The uh, main one that we're going to get rid of is the power steering light hopefully there. Um, the other warning lights may be something else wrong with the car but we'll uh, we'll do a scan afterwards and we'll see. So uh, let's get hooked up and uh, get this uh, power steering unit written in. We are all hooked up by OBD. We have uh, external power supply on because we don't want the battery to go flat. Um, now we're going to see if we can connect by OBD. Yep, we are in. Um, got a few gongs going off on the dashboard, which are to be expected when you're programming. And we're going to make a backup copy of the um, files which are in the donor unit just in case we have to put them back again. Um, right so I'll get these files saved and then uh, we'll go on to writing it in. Right we have uh, read and saved all the files. I've compared the um, flash files and they're the same. Um, this is the chassis number here that we uh, want to write into the car. So we're still hooked up, so now what I'm going to do is uh, write the files back to the car. And when the progress bar has gone across, it should now be done. So we're going to disconnect the programming tool. And we are now going to switch the ignition off. Give it 10 seconds, and then we're going to start the car up. And we're going to see to start with, do we have any power steering? Oh, look at that. Power steering working exactly as it should. No more power steering light there. Um, we're going to do a quick scan of the car and we're going to see what else we need to do. And uh, if you need this doing, you can send it to us. You take the rack arms off and send it to us how that one was on the bench. Not the cheapest things to send, but still, we can clone these units for you. You'll find more information on the website ecuconnection.co.uk or if you've done the same as these guys and they've fitted all the rack on, you can drive the car down and we can do it by OBD for you.
If you need to replace an electric steering rack on a Vauxhall and need to have it programmed, simply visit ecuconnection.co.uk and search our services database for the service that you need. For example, today we are looking for an electric steering rack programming service for a Vauxhall Astra, Zafira or Insignia. Once you have selected from the database what you need to have programmed, simply add it to the basket and pay by our secure payment system. Then, all you have to do is send us your components for programming. Within a few days, your items will be returned to you, all programmed and ready for refitting. So, we've done a full diagnostic scan of the vehicle with Opcom. Um, and we are going to check for fault codes now and uh, see which ones are left in here. Um, glow plugs, so again, that's... Uh, Nothing to do with the power steering rack, so that's not what it's in for. But we'll clear these codes out for them anyway. Uh, one in the parking brake. <clears throat> Invalid data. That may have been because of the uh, wrong rack. We'll see if that one goes out. Okay, clear that. Communication faults, clear those. So, all the fault codes cleared out, we'll give it a start cycle. So all warning lights are out, we still have code 128, um, I think that might be that the bonnet is up. Um, you get a lot of error messages on the clusters which um, aren't really relevant, but now we're going to do another rescan and we're going to see if any of these hidden fault codes come back. Okay, that's come to the end of the full scan. And as you can see now, if we uh, check the fault codes, we've got no fault codes in the whole car. So everything is good there. Um, let's see what we've got on the dashboard. Code 128. Um, you can clear this code by just uh, pressing the button there and it goes, but uh, I've got a sneaky suspicion that's the bonnet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unhook Opcom. I'm going to close the bonnet and I'm going to see if that code goes. If not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to Google it and see what it is. We now have the bonnet down. Let's put the ignition on and see if code 128 is there. Oh, that's better. No more code 128. All that is was the bonnet up. And uh, I think we can now sign this one off as being a success. Thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button if uh, you found this video useful to you. Cheers, guys.